what's going on guys welcome to the first episode of code boot Trap. this is where we take a look at the obvious cash grabs and garbage schools out there taking advantage of the current current climate of the market that we're in where everyone wants to learn how to code and suddenly you see all these code boot camps popping up trying to teach people how to code and you'll see me in every single video that i make not to go to a code boot camp that doesn't have a guarantee and so i ask myself two questions because i'm obviously burning bridges with these videos So it sucks trying to find a parking spot for this huge, ginormous truck. I'm gonna put the camera down. <laughs> I made it, it's pretty good. All right guys, so <clears throat> I just made it to campus. I'm a few hours early before class and uh, I'm gonna kind of do my regular routine of grabbing some tacos and doing some studying. But today's video I want to talk to you about um, a video that was just put out by Joshua Fluke he's another youtuber talks about coding and stuff and um, he just put out a video regarding what he considers are you know boot camps that you shouldn't attend uh, crap camps I think he called it something like that it was kind of funny anyways um, the first one that he chose was a company called Trilogy Education Services and it just so happens that Trilogy Education Services is the parent company to the boot camp that I attend. Now uh, the boot camp that I go to is basically curriculum that is spread across different universities across the country and then it's implemented by the school. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to like go I'm not trying to argue uh, against some of the things that Joshua said, that Josh, I'm just gonna call him Josh, that Josh said, uh, because I think he does have some good points, but I really want to just come to you and let you know, uh, give you the perspective of an actual student that is going to the school. Um, some of the things that he said, I, I don't think were fair, and um, I think, uh, I don't know, or maybe a little inaccurate. I'm not sure if inaccurate is the right word, but um, I want to give you my point of view. I'm going to hopefully try and get this video done before I walk across campus and get to um, the taco place. So let's get into it. Okay, so let me start off by saying that I think Josh's channel is awesome. I subscribe to it. I get notifications. And I really think that he's trying to put out content that benefits his viewers so this is not a bash on on Josh or his channel um, I'm gonna continue to watch it and and I think you should too you should subscribe to it I'm gonna put a link at the bottom and uh, check out his stuff with that said <laughs> one difference that I want to start off with is I want to make sure that you understand that Trilogy Education Services is the parent company that creates the con that creates the uh, curriculum I guess you could say and then it is implemented by the different universities. Now, I am only speaking about my experience at Southern Methodist University. I don't know if it's done differently across, across the country at other schools. I, I would imagine that it's similar, but um, let me start off with the quality of the teachers and the TAs. I think they are fantastic. Um, the two teachers that we have, I think, have a combined almost 40 years of programming experience. They are professionals in the field and they are doing some really cool stuff that they've shown us um, in, in their professions. So we have really good teachers. The TAs are also very good. And not only are they good, but they are always available. We use Slack at, uh, this, in this program to communicate back and forth and I post a question at all times of the day and night and I always get a response and uh, they always help me out with making sure that I understand and get a get an answer to my question so the quality of the teachers and the TAs I think is is excellent and even Josh himself was gonna apply for a teaching position and or and uh, inquired about a TA position so I think it was just the money that wasn't good and uh, for him but I mean, he was gonna do it himself. So, you know, if, if he would have gone hired, you would have had that kind of quality teaching you. Again, I, I think we have excellent teachers and TAs. Another point that I kind of want to talk about is he says that 
He said that the education services, okay, and uh, I think he kind of makes a dig on it about calling it customer service. Uh, the the career services that we have here, or not that, yeah, not the education services, the career services we have. I, I'm actually really impressed with all of the help that we are already receiving for career services. There's an entire group of people that is dedicated to making sure that uh, we find a job at the end of the program. And they tell you, they tell you that, you know, um, it really comes down to you to find a job. And that's true, that's true in everything. Um, but they emphasize that they are going to do everything they can not to just make you career ready, but career competitive. That way when you get done, you um, not just have the skills to uh, apply for programming jobs, but that you are a competitive applicant. We have access to uh, professionals that write resumes for $100 an hour, that we get that for free. Well, it's included in the price of the program, which is $9,500. And also, um, they help you write, you know, set up your brand statement online, you know, with LinkedIn and other social media. And uh, they set, we have workshops that help you um, do, that help you with your soft skills, um, interviewing, and also technical interviews. And uh, they are always available for us. I think the, uh, the, the career services that we have, I think, are really, really good. Yes. He is correct. There is no job guarantee, um, but this isn't the only boot camp that doesn't have that. But they do, they do as I think as much as they can to help you get a job when you're done. And you know the rest of it just really falls on us. So another thing that I really like about this program is that if you are a veteran and you have and you still have some of your education benefits, some of your GI benefits available, this program is completely paid for. So I am not paying anything to attend this boot camp, and as a matter of fact, I am being paid to attend the boot camp. So that is something to really consider um, if you if you fall in that category. If you are a veteran, um, there are many other boot camps do give you either a veteran discount, maybe they give you five hundred thousand dollars off the entire cost of the tuition, but there are not that many uh, that are 100 that are 100 percent paid for by um, our benefits so that is something to consider and because they are at universities across the country it's very likely that there is one close to you okay so the technologies that we are learning um, I you know I, I'm not I'm not a professional in the field or anything like that and and uh, but everything so far seems relevant I mean you know yeah we started off with the basics HTML CSS stuff like that um, and we've been hitting JavaScript hard. Uh, we're doing Firebase right now. We're going to be getting into uh, uh, Node really soon, MongoDB. I didn't go back and verify that Handlebars was still on the website. I have no idea. Although I did do a quick Google search of Handlebars JS and it popped up immediately. So, um, you know, that's that, whatever that's worth. <laughs> Okay, so one thing Josh says is that because there is no job guarantee that they are not invested in you. And I, I just got to be honest, I don't feel that way. Um, I don't feel that way being a student in this boot camp. Um, there are a, as I, like I said, there's so many resources that we have for setting us up for finding a career. The teachers are always available. The TAs are always available. Um, there are tutoring resources that we have aside away from the teachers and the TAs so we can schedule a tutoring session for I think it's uh, I think it's one hour every week maybe two hours um, that we can set up for just a one-on-one -on -one online with the TA so um, I don't necessarily feel that they don't that they aren't invested in us um, yeah I mean of course it'd be it'd be awesome if there was a guarantee of a job and you know you get your money back um, I mean who wouldn't love that in anything but um, you know I, I don't think it's fair to say that they are not that they don't care at, at least at least I, I don't know about Trilogy education services themselves <laughs> but I can tell you that um, the people that I see every week do care about the students and um, really want to see you succeed another thing Josh talks about is the 
you know, the the fact that Trilogy is associated with different universities and that there's name recognition. I don't want to totally disregard the fact that uh, having the name of a certain university attached to your resume is a bad thing. Um, SMU here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is recognized as a top tier university. And, you know, I think having that, saying that you are associated with that is not going to hurt you. You know, when it comes down to it, you know, when it comes down to it, it's really can you can you do the programming or not? And I think that's why people always talk about how you don't need a computer science degree to do this job. But, um, you know, it doesn't hurt that you say you went to SMU boot camp um, or if Harvard had one, you know, I think everybody would be happy to put Harvard in their resume. So, you know, it is what it is. I, you know, I, I don't really want to gripe on that too much, but I don't think it hurts to have a reputable university's name in your resume. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, so Josh is really hitting on the business side of Trilogy Education Services. He, he's really talking about how it's run as, as a business and, um, you know, I don't think it's fair to really apply that to how the different schools are executing the uh, curriculum. So um, here's, here's how I'm going to kind of summarize it. Um, I don't think this is a bad program. I'm, I, I, think, I think it's great. I mean, I'm having, I'm having an awesome time. I'm learning a ton, um, so much more than I have, uh, you know, teaching myself on free code camp and, tr and uh, uh, Team Treehouse and Code Academy. I mean, I've done all of those. And, and yeah, I picked, up, I picked up some stuff, but there's just something different about having somebody being in the classroom environment where somebody kind of runs through it for you and then you know you actually do the exercises and uh, and you start building things you know with that support if you need it so so don't completely disregard going to a boot camp that is um, that is not I want to say say run by trilogy but that trilogy sets up at a university because it is run by the campus. Um, and yes, I wish they did. <laughs> so it is a little annoying when I call them sometimes and I got that exact same recording. But um, the way I got in contact with them was that I submitted the form on the website through the campus and somebody got right back to me and uh, we spoke on the phone. They gave me a number with a, uh, they gave me their phone number, their email, and it was actually the number was the same number, but it had a an extension. And I found that if you if you call the extension, you almost always get through to a person. So um, trilogy trilogy as as a business, as how they run things, you know, whatever. I, I don't care because they're not the ones teaching me exactly. <laughs> the ones that are teaching me here are here on campus. Um, I feel that they definitely care about what I learn. They are professionals in, in the field. They have tons of experience. Um, they know what they're talking about. We're learning a bunch of things that I had not learned on my own and I think would have taken me a long time to learn on my own. I think it's a good program. Obviously, I've only done one school. If there's a, if there's a boot camp out there that wants to sponsor me when I'm done with this one, hey, I'm more than happy to go do it. Um, but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, I, I know when something's good and something's not good. You know, if I was unhappy with the program, I would tell you. <laughs> Uh, I, I have no, I have no loyalty to Trilogy Education Services. Again, go watch, go watch Josh's video. He definitely made some good points. So take that, take that in for, for what it's worth, and then um, contact a school that is that is uh, running a program uh, from Trilogy, and then go to the school if you have a chance and, and talk to people. I think you'll be. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, at least if you are in the Dallas area and come to uh, SMU. And you're always welcome to reach out to me and I, I'm more than happy to tell you about the program. I think that's all I got. I went through, I was going through Josh's video as I was doing this, kind of um, trying to hit the points that he hit, that he brought up. I, I didn't hit the whole stuff about their website being WordPress and all that other stuff, because it doesn't really matter. What matters is when you're a student here, the things you're learning, is it, do I think it's worth being here the answer is yes um, am I learning a ton yes do the teachers and the TAs care about what I'm learning 100% yes 
at least right now, do I think what I'm learning is relevant? Uh, yes, because everybody loves JavaScript. Node is cool, MongoDB is cool, um, Firebase, uh, and, and that, those are just the ones I, I already said those, but those are just things I can think of right now. The career services are, I think, are also very good. Hey guys, if this was any use to you, please consider subscribing. Uh, leave me any questions you have in the comments. I'm going to post a link to Josh's channel because I think it's I think it's awesome. He puts out great content every day. Um, you should definitely subscribe. I'll even put a link to uh, my bootcamp. I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go get some tacos and do some studying. Bye.